Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the United Way. I know what you're thinking. Uh, how did Dean get a tan so fast? Uh, he's fine. Uh, my name is Amir, and I will be a new host on the United Way. Today, I'll be taking you through the news week for the day. It's going to be a rather slow news day because uh, not much happened at one, and as a result, Shit rags like the MEN and the Sun can't write their lies all over in the internet. So our first news uh, comes from Fabrizio Romano. Uh, he's saying that uh, the MLS side Minnesota United have appointed Manchester United have approached Manchester United staff coach Eric Ramsey to be their new head coach. Uh, he is their top target as new manager, and talks are ongoing. He will be the young coach in MLS history. Well, um, that's news because uh, on paper, if you think about it, most United fans are shocked that Ramsey still has a job because we bought him in as a set-piece coach and ever since then, our set-piece goals and defense of set-pieces became somewhere short of rat shit. And uh, the result, we haven't been able to protect our corners or set pieces and score from in most of them. Um, I honestly wouldn't be averse to him going if United are fine with it. If I, I don't think he does that much here that is crucial to us. I think he does one-on-one -on -one coaching and uh, I don't think anyone's too bothered about it, you know. So... You know, if he has, if he wants to go to the MLS, he can be my guest. Good luck to him, and uh, I don't think that's much of a loss, really. United will survive. I think he's not. I would rather just get a better coach. Maybe we coach Luton's set piece coach because they're pretty deadly with set pieces. I'd like to see that happen. But uh, yeah, nothing much happened on that front. Uh, on the other uh, news bit comes uh, from Fabrizio again, uh, which says that Manchester United have made the formal proposal to Newcastle, will be making a formal proposal to Newcastle as they try to negotiate ca compensation to have Dan Ashworth work for them now. But uh, yeah, Newcastle have uh, reported that. Uh, Dan Ashworth is on gardening leave. And for those that don't understand what that is, is that he has this giant garden, which he has to pick and make nice. And then Newcastle will let him go to England. I'm kidding, of course. Uh, that's not what gardening leave is. Basically, what's going to happen is that uh, he's going to be not allowed to work inside an office of Newcastle and at the same time not a, he will be sued if he goes to work inside Manchester United's office. He has to stay at home gardening while uh, Newcastle find a new sporting director and change up their strategy. And uh, apparently the fee that they're asking for uh, Dan Ashworth to be let go of his contract is somewhere around 20 million, uh, which is ludicrous because 20 million gets you a Premier League player. A board of directors position should not cost more than 5 million to United. And uh, if we get our pants pulled down, which I'm very worried that we might, it's going to be a terrible, terrible, terrible thing because uh, he's not worth 20 million. I know the amount of money we'll see saved by having a decent uh, football direct sports director will be more than that, but we can't pay Newcastle 20 million for him. So hopefully we have the right negotiators on on the negotiating a release clause, and uh, hopefully we don't pay through our noses for this one, because I actually want uh, Dan Ashworth to work for United. I think he's a good. Uh, he he does his job well and uh, he wouldn't have been in such high demand if he wasn't doing such a good job. Uh, he did some really fantastic work at Brighton and uh, and then Newcastle as well. So yes, uh, I think the reason the 
the point uh, of having him back, having him in our backroom staff is that we'll stop making such silly signings such as Jaden Sancho and Anthony and uh, maybe start making a bit smarter decisions. He has a, obviously uh, got experience in what he does. So we wouldn't just be hiring the first guy who just who we just spot around the coffee table. Uh, yeah, that and make him the head of sporting uh, sporting operations, which is what United have been doing. So a step in the right direction. Uh, um, uh, that's that's most of the news that is reportable today. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about yesterday's game because uh, stressful. Um, United beat uh, Luton 2-1 and the way you if you saw the match you'd think Luton were beating United 2-1 the way they were playing. Uh, I understand that it was an away game and these are a bit uh, tough especially Kenilworth Road it's it's hard to uh, get a win there just ask Liverpool and uh, unfortunately uh, we also have an injury to show, I think. Uh, we haven't got any clear details as to what has happened, really. He hobbled off at halftime. We got two brilliant goals in span of, what, six minutes. And both of them, Rasmus Hoyland scoring. He's, back to, uh, he's in a rich vein of form and long may it continue. We let them get back into the game by switching off and they scored from a preventable cross. I am not going to blame Onana too much on that one. But yeah, he was flying out trying to stop it. He should have just stayed his ground and I think he would have been able to stop it then on him. Um, yeah, second half, uh, we see the introduction of Johnny Evans and uh, yeah, that was a pretty, pretty good uh, showing from him. I feel like for a center back on his last legs and on a free as well, he's basically proving to us that we made a humongous error selling him in 2000, I want to say 15, I think it was 15. It was Lewis season. I'm not sure which one it was. And uh, if we had kept him, had we got someone like Dan Ashworth and uh, you know, supporting people around and not Ed Woodward, maybe we might have kept him and maybe we wouldn't have had to spend 80 million wire. It's basically Johnny Evans is showing Maguire how to read a game and you know, scan. Uh, I, I think that's most of it, uh, most of the news for. Uh, the day, um, I think, yeah, there was one thing uh, I wanted to address. Uh, Luton manager, um, uh, he, uh, yeah, so basically, Luton's manager, Rob Edwards, uh, basically made a little sly dig at Manchester United uh, that we got. Um, get let off by the referees uh, and given only four minutes of added time because we were 2-1 up. Uh, first of all, uh, Mr. Edwards, if you're can, if you watching this, uh, fuck you and uh, fuck you again. Because last in the reverse fixture when Man United were leading 1-0, the added time was nine minutes. So clearly there's no conspiracy against Luton Town. And secondly, uh, you had quite a few chances and you didn't score with them. So I doubt giving you another 15 minutes would have let, given you a chance to score. Uh, it's completely ridiculous and you know, horse shit, whatever that man said. And uh, yeah, I do you agree with me? Do you th think he's a prat? Do you think I'm a prat? What do you think of my uh reading of today uh, to today's news uh was like just uh, put it down in the comments below if you liked my reading put a like on it if you disliked it tell me what you didn't like in the comments and uh yeah share it to your friends and 
that has been it from us at the united way and hopefully uh, i'll i get the job and i'll see you guys on a live someday uh, this is amir okhle signing off and uh, yes uh, to more united content come coming soon peace